well welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am fresh faced this morning because we are heading over to the trafford center whereby i am going to um i'm booked in with armani beauty at, in boots to basically have a bit of makeup done a play around with their makeup try out some new bits and then i'm going to do a bit of shopping with you guys um i want to check out h&m home and maybe zara as well so we're going to do a bit of shopping and then i'm actually booked in for a facial at face gym which i decided to just treat myself i have been before i went when they first opened as like a press invite and it was good it was enjoyable it was an experience that's for sure but i just feel like i want to practice a bit more self-love through meditation yoga moving my body but also beauty treatments and i absolutely love having a facial a massage and i thought you know what i even if i treat myself every month every other month whatever it may be to a beauty treatment and it puts a smile on my face and that's what i'm going to do so i'm starting with a face gym appointment today i'm just going to have an express one which is 30 minutes thought i would pick up the camera and bring you guys with me for these couple of appointments and a bit of a shopping shopping morning out i'm going to say because i don't want it to be all day but who knows when I get in the shops, who knows? I did also purchase some bits from Zara Home, so I have those here to share with you, but I'll show you them when I get back later on today in the kind of haul segment of this video. If I pick up anything else, then uh, that is when that will be included. So anyway, let's get on the road. Maybe grab a coffee if I've got time. If not, I'll get one maybe afterwards because there's two Starbucks drive throughs at the traffic center, so I'm spoiled for choice. Quick outfit of the day, just before I head off, very box standard uniform outfit kind of outfit for me today. And I'm just wearing my, um, one of my Anina Bing hoodies. This gray one's probably my favorite one. Um, and then my Chanel just cross body bag, nice and easy, Lululemon leggings, my Anina Bing trainers as well. And yeah, just standard outfit for me very trafford center appropriate as well it's only it's very casual in the trafford center i feel so um yeah especially as i'm getting a facial i just want to be pampered and relaxed and comfortable my appointment at boots is at 10 a.m i'm here really early and it kind of takes me back to um like all the shops in that shut most of them can you see all the shutters are down i don't know if you can tell but it reminds me of when i used to work at the trafford center I used to work at Hollister and used to get here on like a Sunday morning shift at like 9am. Was still two hours to shop. I'm just trying to think, where's Boots this way? Um, there was still like two hours to opening. Like we used to come and it was just, the centre was like to ourselves. It's just taking me back to that moment. I'm not going to lie, I don't miss those days. But anyway, first stop is Boots and Armani. I'm really excited. I want to try maybe the Luminous Silk Foundation because I've heard well, it's like known, isn't it, as a bestseller. Um, and I've never tried anything from Armani Beauty before, so this should be interesting. Look at this sofa. This is um, Sofa Club. They've got like a pop-up section, but how nice is that? One nine nine nine. Um, the Broadgate range. I really like the look of this. I feel like this in our like kitchen, open plan kitchen living space will be um, really good, and it's a nice colour as well. Not too light because we'll we'll have muddy paws and you know, kitchen living, um, but not too dark. Like I still like the kind of natural linen kind of color. Although this is like a velvety texture. If they did it in like a linen-y, I think I would really, really like this. I do like it. Just need to take some uh, measurements first. But anyway, I'm just waiting for boots to open. It is five to 10. So we have five minutes remaining. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her, but she won't feel the same for me. I've got this so that was a lovely appointment, bit of a darker lip than what I'm used to, but really, really nice. I love how they've done 
but eye makeup I'll talk to you more about the products and um, when I get home but just in H&M just having a look around I'm also gonna have a look at H&M home whilst I'm here and just see what is new in some spring bits I'm seeing so um, yeah let's have a quick look I think I'm upstairs yeah I'm in the divided section I think I'm gonna go back downstairs and then um, home home where's my favorite in H&M just the two just the two but I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so I am in love with how they've styled this display bed I feel like this throw is gorgeous. I like the texture of it. I'm very tempted to maybe pick up some fresh bedding. Quite like how they've got the trio of colours as well. Can you see on camera? Like a natural linen, white, and then this grey. We've got white linen bedding, but I think this is probably a bit more practical, this colour. I also love how the Trafford Centre H&M Home have all of these kind of dried flowers to buy. They also have, which I have at home, you may recognize in my vase this contorted hazel at six pound fifty and i just think they look so nice in vases nice and minimal and then they've got some of these cotton tails as well again six pound fifty for those they've got lots of like mango wood for kitchen I quite like these dip bowls and it comes with a tray as well this one is how much is this 24.99 for that then they also have these kind of like mango wood acacia wooded trays cutlery organizers um boxes as well this kind of cutlery or utensils holder utensils pot is quite nice 12.99 for that and then they also have one of these mango wood stands i've got one of these from bnm though um 24.99 this one is i think mine was about eight pounds it's been four weeks since you called and i've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I feel like I'm obsessing over kitchen kitchenware at the minute I think I heard of our kitchen being done but this is nice $8.99 for lemon squeezer lemon juicer and then i also love this however the only thing with that is that you can obviously only fit one garlic in it 8.99 i feel like when we buy garlic we usually buy a pack and how cute are these little salt and pepper pots they're like townhouses they are 9.99 again more kitchenware 12.99 for this kind of little olive oil dispenser i've not seen these before but they now do the donut vases in a glass wow that's heavy uh, 34.99 for that. I think I prefer it in the glass actually. I think that's really nice. And then they've got like a kind of darker brown taupe colour as well. Some cute little Easter decor bits. These little bunnies are 12.99, and I love these um, paper ornaments. You get a six pack. There are some more colourful ones there, and then I quite like the earthy tones for this one. 9.99 for a pack of six. We've also got some more Easter decor bits here. These little paper bunnies are 3 dollars for a pack of two. And then I really like these just plain clear glass egg shapes. I think I've actually got a couple of these from last year, so I need to hunt these down in storage. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I want to hold you close Say that you won't Just bought a few bits to try and which I'll show you some of them This one is the first, the jacket It's kind of like a denim jacket in like a beige 
beigey green kind of color. It's in a medium. It's $35.99, I think. Okay, this blazer is the next thing that I wanted to show you. I really wanted to inject this kind of like a darker gray into my wardrobe. This is a small at $79.99. Online, I've seen that this top comes with a matching skirt, and I think as an outfit, it would be lovely, but just on its own, it's a little bit boring. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I guess you could just wear it with jeans, not leggings, but it's super soft, very cozy. Um, but yeah, I was thinking, imagining this is the full outfit. So I feel a bit, um, it was the last jumper left and there were no skirts, so I'm gonna take that as a sign. Okay, this dress, <gasps> getting me excited for spring, summer, but um, I am gonna leave it, it just feels a little bit ill-fitting on the inside. There's like an in inner layer. It feels a bit too snug, so I'm gonna leave it. And also it comes quite low down, so need to be in like a triangle bra maybe, but really pretty nonetheless. It is $45.99. This one is in a medium. Um, but yeah, I'll leave this one linked. I've got some more items to try on, but anything that I do pick up, I'll show you them on when I get home later. I'm gonna round up my shopping and head over to Face Gym. Um, very shortly my appointment starts so um yeah i'm excited i'm sad to take off this makeup but excited for a facial but I feel so zen right now. It was only a 20 minute appointment, 25 minutes in the chair, um, and then sort of 10 minutes consultation, taking my makeup off, things like that, but honestly. Oh, and it's normal to take makeup off, so don't worry about that if you wanted to book in and you've got makeup on. But um, yeah, a little express facial like that. <sighs> Feeling good. Um, just before I head out to the car park, I might have a quick look in White Company and maybe the books and then I'm gonna go get a coffee and some lunch, then head home. I've heard this book is meant to be really good. Um, kind of a take on the Sarah Knight one that I recently bought. So I'm gonna finish that one first and then maybe give that one a try as well. But there's lots of like self-help books here, All the Vex King, The Secret. And then this is also another book that I've heard is meant to be quite good. It's called The Chimp Paradox, The Mind Management Program for Confidence, Success and Happiness. Successful shopping trip, I would argue. Oh, that's gonna be a bit shaky, isn't it? Tried a little light temporary tripod situation, but I feel like you're gonna be a bit shaky there. So I'll see you when I get to Starbucks and I might try something new for the very first time. Matcha. I feel like it's a craze and I feel like I might be missing out. Although I don't do caffeine usually, and I know matcha has caffeine in it. I think a bit more than green tea, but less than coffee is what I've been told. But anyway, let's head to Starbucks, grab some food as well, because I'm Hank Marvin. And then, uh, yeah, let's try matcha for the first time. I'm fresh faced. I feel like I'm very red, but um, I have just come out of facial and you guys obviously know that. So yeah, excuse the appearance, but I am dewy. I'm hydrated, got loads of SPF on, so I'm protected, which is the main thing. Ooh, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons or Starbucks? No, I'm gonna try matcha. I've said it now, I'll put it into the universe. But do I get another coffee just in case I don't like the matcha? <laughs> what do you ask for? An iced matcha? I got some salt, so can I get it for you? Hi, can I get a decaf cortado with oat milk? And then I, I've never tried matcha before, but I want to try something with matcha. So just a small. Just a small. Do you want it hot or ice? I think iced. A small matcha. And normally people get it with vanilla to make it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah. Can I get a um, either a ham and cheese or five cheese toasty if you've got either of those? Yeah, I've got either. Uh, I'll have the ham and cheese one then, please. Yeah, of course, anything else for you? That's it, thank you. Perfect, Thanks. 
my toastie for my lunch, which I'm gonna eat. Um, but I thought I would do the taste test. Okay, so matcha, she said with vanilla usually. So two vanilla syrup, one semi-skimmed tall iced matcha green tea latte. Here it goes. very creamy matcha lovers is that like a lot of matcha or not a lot of matcha i feel like that's not that green i can't i don't know if i can taste anything it's just like a creamy creamy drink <laughs> sweet with the vanilla as well i think i like it i don't know i'm not blown away by it but yeah let me know your matcha order Anyway, I'm going to head back. I'm probably going to pick this vlog up tomorrow, actually. First thing, I need to change my battery, but also I'm going to let my skin do its thing. Fresh face tomorrow. Share with you the bits that I've been buying and that I picked up. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello, guys. It's a new day. I thought I'd just grab a chair, although I feel a bit too high up now. Let me grab something to put you on. Let's see, is that better? There we go. Right, so I... It's a new day. It's a new day. I told you yesterday that I would pick you guys up in the morning. <laughs> it's four o'clock. It's definitely not morning. So if the light uh, starts to go, apologies for that. I'm just sat right in front of the window though. So hopefully we're all good. I did come home yesterday to a couple of PR parcels that I thought I would open first. A Jo Malone PR parcel just makes me so happy. I love Jo Malone. I spend my own money on it. I think it's such a lovely brand for gifting so whenever they send me anything I'm just mind blown love it so Jo Malone have very kindly sent me um two new things from their night collection so within here we've got a reed diffuser in lavender and moonflower so there are two scents available lavender and moonflower and moonlit chamomile of which they've sent me lavender and moonflower they've sent me one of the diffusers it's black reeds now the actual bottle itself is like a really dark navy i know that jo malone products are amazing they have switched up their packaging recently oh i don't even need to spritz it i can smell that I'm going to spritz that all over my pillow tonight. So thank you to Jo Malone. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Typology before. They have sent me two of their products. And these are, let me open them up. This first one is a face mask. And that tells you the lab that it's from. I love the actual, I guess the branding of it. Typology and then the actual font. I feel like some brands just do branding really, really well. Or I appreciate a really good well-branded brand anyway this is also uh the second product is a night cream six percent aha oh that's a bit of a mouthful and lavender extract and that's again what that looks like so very similar excited to try those out and then i guess sticking with pr when i went to armani beauty yesterday and had a lovely lady just pamper me basically um trying out all the different products having never tried armani beauty before really wanted to try the luminous silk foundation which i mentioned and i did and i loved it so um yeah they've actually very kindly offered to send me the makeup that they used on me yesterday so i'm excited for that to arrive and to have a good play around i'll maybe um do like a bit of an updated makeup routine with it but they've also very kindly sent me the armani c perfume and then they've also sent me this is the Longwear vivid color lipstick in 107 it's really nice because you can actually use it um in like several different ways i know that the makeup artist that used it on me was talking about the fact that you can like use your fingertips to add it as a bit of blush. I did also pop to Morphe and they've got this new, well I said is it new and she said it's not new, it's just that it's very rarely in stock. They've got the continuous setting mist. This one, the jumbo one, is double the size of the regular one at 16 pounds, but this one's only 22. So I thought, well, I might as well go for the jumbo. Because ordinarily, if you're getting two regular size ones, that's like 36 pounds. No, it's not. 16 times two is definitely not 36. It's a 32. There we go. Oh, my brain. My brain's frazzled today. And then whilst I was in Selfridges, I did also just pop to the food hall. And I got these. I tried these last night. And 
Wow. They're in the sale from £4.99 down to £2.49. Rosemary and sea salt shortbread hearts. So it's sweet, salty, it's satisfying. There's sugar on it as well as salt. So it's it's probably more sweet than it is savoury. But wow, they are so good. And also crack these open, but um, I said to Tom, well, I just want to show them in the vlog first. But the Tony's also had some sales of the my favourite flavour, which is the white chocolate and raspberry popping candy. This one is more that I got for Tom, is it? No? No, this one is, sorry. The milk chocolate, and this one's got caramel biscuits. This one is Ben & Jerry's strawberry cheesecake. Never seen that Tony's collabed with Ben & Jerry's, so that was a nice surprise for me. And again, it is... Oh, let me just have this little piece here because I'm just craving it. It's like a white chocolate. So good. Then you may have seen I popped for the white company. Wow, she's really wrapped this up for me. I have never, I mean, I'm a white company fan, okay? I have never seen this fragrance before. Sandalwood. Is anyone else? So anyway, they're obviously like discontinuing. They quite often do these scents, don't they, where they end up discontinuing them, like mustique, ginger. There's been several along the road. Grapefruit is the latest one to be discontinued, but they've switched it with a new grapefruit and mandarin, is it? Lovely, love that. I've got that oil as well. But yeah, sandalwood, I gave it a quick whiff and I feel like the scent that's replacing it is, or the scent that it's most similar to is sea salt. If you like sea salt, I feel like you'll like this. It's like a nice summer scent if you, like me, like the masculine scent. Scent notes, clove leaf, sandalwood and vetiver, and scent description, warm and aromatic, scent family, woody. And yeah, they're on sale at just £7. Now for the H&M and Zara bits, I'll show you the things that I ordered online from Zara Home, first and foremost. Oh, I've got some new things for the kitchen. Shop corner, why not buying stuff for the new kitchen? Anyway, we'll just start with this. Lemon squeezer. I just like the rustic kind of old fashioned wooden one. I know you can get the ceramic ones and even Zara have a ceramic one, but there's something about this and just doing it by hand that I really like. I like the fact that it's branded as well. I'm getting quite a quite a collection, should we say, of this kind of acacia wood for the kitchen, like lidded jars and stuff like this. So this was $9.99. I think this one was only $1.99 and it's a weekly planner. I love a stationary purchase, you guys know. And this just follows a um, similar, well, a, the same layout per page. And it's just an organized weekly planner by day and time as well. This one also was in the sale, this little linen tub. It was around the three or four pound mark, but it's a little bit stiff. I am actually gonna send that one back, which is kind of annoying, but they do bigger ones as well. They do like hat boxes. I thought it'd just be nice to have. A handy storage box like for within your drawers or something but i actually don't like that so i'm going to send that one back this one i love but i wanted it to be bigger so for that reason i'll probably send it back if i can find a similar alternative i will but it's a little again branded on the bottom zara home it's a wooden salt what do they call them salt oh it's gonna bug me you know, if ever you're thinking of a word, this is what my mum always taught me, and it really does work. Just go through the alphabet. It does work as well. So, A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 cellar, salt cellar, salt cellar. That's what it's called, right? Um, anyway, like a little salt um, pot with a scoop. I mean, I showed it to Tom online. He was like, love that, but make sure it's big. Ordered it, and it is too small, and I agree with him. I feel like we, if we're having one out on the island next to the... Uh, cooking hub we want it to be quite a big generous sized one so anyway that's going back these are a self purchase really random but i thought perfect for barbecue season they are burger papers so you can literally i mean the image online shows you better but you literally wrap up your burgers so if you've got people around for a barbecue to be able to like individually do all the burgers like that i don't know it's just a little touch that i thought looked really nice and again they were in the sale for like a pound or two 9.99 i picked up these wooden scoops and regular viewers will be saying why have you purchased these when you've got the other ones from that sostrine grain for much cheaper i wanted to test the waters compare the two these ones are branded as well so they've got the zara home on the back and they are actually slightly bigger so this one especially this one's more like the size of the other ones but i actually think these ones do look 
nicer. They look a bit more expensive. Well, they are a bit more expensive. And they're not too dissimilar. They're £3 each at the other place. And I've got a bigger one as well. So £9.99 for the two. It's not too dissimilar. I got two of these. And I've just remembered I ordered from Amazon the wooden ones, which I still prefer. So I'm going to send these ones back. But um, they are cute nonetheless, these little ceramic egg cups. Anyway, last but not least, from Zara Home, I ordered this fabric spray. This one is in the white powdery. I don't think Tom's going to like this. I personally love it. It smells like talcum powder. And I love that scent. So much so that I've got a, like, a freshener that you can spritz on dogs' fur in between washers or after they've been bathed. And it's baby powder scented and Tom always goes oh your mum's put that stuff on you and I just love it so maybe I'll keep this to this room and the spare bedroom where I can just use it in my wardrobe oh look, you can see my mouth talking in the bottle um where I can just use it in my wardrobe and also in the spare bedroom maybe even have it sat on a tray in the spare room because it looks really nice doesn't it the bottle looks lovely right we'll switch it up now go back to H&M before sharing with you the Zara clothes that I got um and I also have had a couple of things arrive that I ordered in the mail so um some of these weren't things that I showed in store but anyway first thing I did pick up are these linen blend trousers now I feel like H&M are the place to get smarter looking trousers whether they be wide leg tailored linen cotton they just do them really well couldn't say no to i've got them in a uk 10 and they are 24.99 which i think is great price for such a staple pair of trousers then i got this basic white oversized shirt at 19.99 again a good staple for a nice capsule wardrobe mix and match with quite a few different things this one is in a medium then i picked up this dress i thought this was lovely um it's like a ribbed knit medium this one and it's the most beautiful kind of like olive khaki green color quite a nice long line as well even though there's no slit it's still really easy and stretchy and easy to walk in at 24.99 i got this oversized striped knit this one was 39.99 a bit more on the spike spicier side pricier side um, I got it in a small and it is kind of an all right, already like a boxier fit. So stay true to size with this one. I just quite liked the thin stripe on it and also the kind of oatmeal beige as opposed to, well, I don't know. It just, it looks a bit darker and I feel like that looks a bit nicer. And again, another staple item for a capsule wardrobe is this gorgeous trench. Now this is shorter than anything I already have. So I thought I would get this to add something a little bit different into my wardrobe. It was... $39.99 and I got this one in a media. I got a dress, spring is on its way. Again, in this lovely khaki color. This one is shorter though, so ready to get the legs out, but it has still got sleeves. It's got a lovely tie waist. It's not too tight on the bottom, which I really like. Essentially, it's a shirt dress, $34.99 and I wore a medium. Again, what I was saying about tailored trousers, I got this pair which are a wide leg and they're just the perfect I would say neutral color to be able to wear with a boxy white tee tucked in and some superga flat trainers or chunky trainers or something and then when it's really cold maybe like a knit kind of thrown over your shoulder or even a blazer with it but these ones I got in a what size did I get UK 10 and they were 29.99 I tend to wear those sort of things if I'm going to town to meet the girls or if we've got a kind of influencer event type thing on and I don't just want to go in leggings or jeans I want to wear something a bit more a bit dressier feel a bit nicer but I still go comfortable with trainers on I did pick up this blazer this was way too oversized for me this is one of the things that I ordered online I got it in a large I think it was in the sale I ordered it in a beige mall and they've sent a gray so it's not what I ordered I did get and it was 149.99 I'm not going to even talk about this one any longer <laughs> That one's going back. Okay, then I picked up another trench, this time in black. Again, for something a little bit different. Nice for um, before we get into the summery months, the hotter weather. In a medium, and it is $49.99. You scared me. Yeah. Thought someone was burgling us. I didn't realise Tom was home and I could just hear someone. Usually, like, if it's the builders, they're downstairs. So I was like, why can I hear someone upstairs? It's just Tom. Um, anyway, I also got this shirt, again sticking with shirt and sticking with the new pop of colour that is everywhere in shops at the minute and it's this kind of powdery baby blue, linen blend, in a medium, 19 
such a steal. It's quite a nice colour for spring, I feel. I picked up a boxy tee. This one was in a small, £6.99. Say it's oversized, so you don't need to size up in that one. It kind of fits quite nicely where it's not got loads of excess material if you want to tuck it in. Last but not least, I picked up this blazer from H&M. This one again is a linen blend and I got it in a medium. Nice kind of light coloured tortoiseshell buttons. Perfect addition for my upcoming spring summer wardrobe. I can't wait for the time that we can do that wardrobe switch over and feel good getting all your summery clothes out. I feel like a linen blazer like that works really well with dresses and I love wearing dresses in spring summer. I'm not very good with the heat so I like just floaty airy comfy in summer that's about all I can deal with anyway that blazer as well it's only $34.99 so a good price for a good quality blazer let me go get my Zara of Ags so I picked this one up thinking oh I need to just have a play around with it see what I feel style it off at home if I don't like it I can take it back but I've seen so many girls wear it on Instagram and look so cool kind of leather trench is very in but I just don't know if it's a bit too much on me and when I showed Tommy he was like oh I quite like that and I was like really I'm surprised you like that and then I tried it on and he was like maybe not <laughs> brilliant thanks maybe it's just not me maybe that's maybe that's what's throwing me off I see these other girls look amazing in it and then I think I'm just not cool enough to wear that so anyway I did pick it up in a small it's already quite oversized so no need to like size up in that one that trench isn't cheap either it's 109 pounds so I've got to love it to be able to keep it and then again you know I love a blazer I got this for a little pop of color it's kind of similar to what I had last year from Zara in terms of the color the material is different though I way prefer the material of this one I think I ended up selling my other one on Depop but this material is far more my kind of material for a blazer so yeah it's just a double breasted blazer minty kind of sage green color and it was $59.99 next up I got a knit dress and this one's like a high neck got kind of crochet detailing top with a sweetheart neckline and then it's sleeveless as well so it goes down into like a maxi length just very simple I love the cream color I love this kind of thing for again leading into spring when it is still quite um cold I got this one in a small and it was $35.99 and then I got this kind of jumper for more so for now actually because it's still quite um it's quite chunky and warm this one for good for this weather so in a medium 35.99 it's just like a collared uh v-neck pocket detailed uh cream jumper really nice length as well this one to be able to wear with jeans or like leather trousers and then i got this set this matching lounge set the top was 19.99 which i got in a medium nice kind of like high neck cap sleeve top and then the bottoms they're like a ribbed material the bottoms I got in a small and they were $25.99 I always think Zara do really nice cohorts and then last but not least from Zara I got this herringbone blazer ever since I got that herringbone blazer tweed blazer from NAKD the Lydia collaboration that she did with them I just love it so much that I thought I'm gonna pick up this gray version and stand it up, have a play around, see what I think, and decide whether or not I want to keep it. $59.99, I got it in a small, $35.99 for a blazer, regardless from Zara, is really, really good. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. I'm gonna round off this vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and yeah, enjoyed coming shopping with me to the Trafford Centre. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you're doing, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.